fall brings with it flu shots and checkups. And even the bison of Antelope Island are not immune from this autumn tradition. It becomes the perfect opportunity for school kids to play a little hooky and get a first-hand look at the great beasts. We're going to see some bison. bison. Oh, yeah, this is fun. I'll say cheese. It's the field trip of a lifetime for dozens of special needs students from the Davis County School District. It's especially special for the special needs kids. Yeah, they have a great time and it's fun. They see a lot of other students from our district and it's just a good time for them. It's the 15th year these students with disabilities have journeyed to Antelope Island for this special day. The island is home to some 700 bison and each fall they're rounded up for their annual physical checkup and auction. About 200 animals will be sold for meat or exhibit in zoos or other ranches. Bison meat is tasty and very lean because the animals are range grazers. This day serves as a dress rehearsal for the main roundup. Workers iron out bugs in the system with a few dozen animals. As a side, we also invite children with special needs out during this day uh, to watch what we're doing and, as the bison go through the chutes so they don't have to compete with the general public uh, during the main working. They get an opportunity to come out and be close and uh, be able to see where they don't have to try to look over people's heads and they can feel the enthusiasm of the animal and, and be excited about it. And the excitement was evident among the students. I don't think I've actually ever seen a buffalo before. Um, they are giving the buffalo shots, and as you can tell, I think some of them are a little freaked out by the shots, but <laughs> I think it's a cool and a nice experience to be out here. One by one, the bison are moved into a squeeze chute where they're immobilized. The huge head is tethered securely to allow workers safe access. The large blue wand reads data on a microchip implanted in each animal, and the information reads out on a computer. The veterinarian that we're working with, he does an excellent job, and he comes out and monitors the herd periodically looking for uh, parasite loads in the bison. And if the parasite loads are too high, then we give them uh, some medications to control parasites, both internal and external, and those are the medications which he is administering. Though necessary, the treatment of the animals isn't appreciated by all the visitors. Teachers do their best to help everyone understand that the bison will be just fine. So I don't think it's very cool at all. It's kind of sad. They're giving them shots and stuff, and they apparently don't like it. The bison will continue to run free on Antelope Island, much to the joy of these special students. We all may want to avoid our checkups now and then, but just like the bison, an ounce of prevention goes a long way. From the trailheads of the West, I'm Bob Welty.